I'm here in Ryslip. I'm here in Poole. And I'm here in Southampton to explore the ways in which rugby is tackling homophobia. Since 1823, rugby has become one of the most popular sports around the globe. But have you ever stopped to consider how rugby's masculine culture is affecting gay players? Two and a half million tickets were sold for the Rugby World Cup in 2015, when almost half a million fans travelled overseas. With the sport's increasing popularity, is rugby leading the way in tackling homophobia? I'm Lucy Thomas and I'm travelling the country to find out. I'm starting my journey driving to Poole in Dorset, where I'm going to speak to Sarah Greyer, coordinator for the Space Youth Project. The charity has been supporting young people in the LGBTQ community for over 15 years. Coming out is such a big deal for young people and it's great that there's help out there. I'm really interested to find out if being involved in a sports team can actually offer more support for gay players. With Keegan Hurst coming out this year and Gareth Thomas in 2009, gay people should feel confident and happy with themselves whilst playing something that they love. After arriving at Bournemouth and Poole College, I made my way to find Sarah. Do you think that being part of um, a sports team would um, make people feel more comfortable to come out, or do you think it would be the opposite? Um, I think in an inclusive sports team it would, but I think there's still a lot of negativity within um, sports and there's still work to be done. Campaigns like the um, Rainbow Laces um, raise the awareness of LGBT issues um, and raise the mental health issues related um, to LGBT and people. So I think that, that helps, um, but at the moment a lot of um, sports teams just aren't inclusive enough. In terms of rugby then itself, do you think there should be more inclusive teams? What could be done to combat homophobia more? I think raising the, the profile of some of the LGBT teams would be really good. Um, I think it helps in rugby that some um, players, while they're still playing, have come out, um, mm -hmm. which is different to football, obviously, whereas as yet there's no premiership footballers that have come out. Um, so there are some really positive role, role models, but that needs to be built on. After speaking to Sarah, it's evident that improvements still need to be made in the acceptance of gay rugby players. It's clear to see that role models play a massive part in how gay players are perceived in sport, but I want to find out how this is being taught at grassroots level. So today I'm driving to Ryslip in West London, ready to meet community coach Joe Russell. Um, he works for the Rugby Football Union. Um, basically he's going to be training the under-17s there at the rugby club. Um, will hopefully give us more insight into how the youth of today are being educated about homosexuals and rugby. So we're just on route now. When I arrived at the club, I made my way to the pitch where all the action was taking place. So can you just tell me, do you think homophobia is still like a big issue in rugby today? Um, I don't think it's a big, massive issue, um, purely because the core values that uh, rugby hold uh, and instill within the game really um, help players um, feel comfortable uh, joining clubs, joining teams. Um, it's such an inclusive game yeah. um, that everyone, everyone can take part in. Um, so there's, you never actually find um, players having difficulty joining teams and things like that. Uh, there are all uh, gay teams within London uh, which are doing really well and we as part of the RFU we help support that as well. So what policies do the RFU have in place to kind of help uh, people want to come out um, homosexuals? There are policies that the RFU have mm -hmm. but I think the culture that uh, that RICIP and other clubs in the area have um, helps that transition of players finding out that they or becoming they're gay and, and actually being able to express that. After speaking to Joe about the values of rugby, I wanted to find out what the public really think about homosexuality in sport. My results show that 94% of fans would fully support a rugby player coming out. However, 6% said that they would stop watching their favourite team play if one of the squad members was openly gay. A further 65% felt that rugby is the sport leading the way in tackling homophobia. Some of the responses were truly shocking and show that there is still work to be done for homosexuals to get the respect that they deserve. This leads me to my final destination, where I'll be looking into how gay players really feel about homophobia in rugby. Tonight I'm here in Southampton with an all-inclusive rugby team, the Wessex Wyverns. I'll be speaking to one of the players about his experience of joining the team and the challenges he's faced coming out as an openly gay rugby player. 
The Wessex Wyverns was formed in June 2014 and welcomes players from all backgrounds. The team was established to encourage gay people to enjoy rugby and develop their skills. I spoke to William Woodhead, who recently joined the club last year. So why did you join the Wyverns then? So about three months ago, uh, I was at Southampton Pride. I was uh, I just finished doing the Couch to 5K running programme and I was like, I need something to do with my time. And the Wyverns were there, they had a little stall. Up until that point, I had zero interest in rugby in my entire life. I would never have considered joining a straight team because of all these misconceptions that people have, especially like on the pitch. Like you get quite, not intimate, but quite close to other people playing rugby. And not that I personally experienced that, but I can imagine it being quite intimidating. Like you would always have to catch yourself, making sure you're saying the right things, not to alienate yourself from other people because they might not accept you. So what challenges did you originally kind of face coming out? Well, there's lots of misconceptions, lots of stereotypes. Like, people, oh, they're gay, and like, you know, what kind of like, fashion and all this. And it's just like, no, it's not like that. I'm just, I'm just a normal guy. Like, I don't really fit the stereotype. I, I'm, a, I'm a geek, I play rugby. That's, I'm a normal guy who happens to be gay. And there's like, nothing, there shouldn't be anything wrong with rugby. There shouldn't rugby. be anything wrong with rugby. Yeah, it's like, but people have all these expectations that are, like, if you're playing in a sports team, like, oh, you're, gonna, you're only there to look at us in the locker room. It's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's been a great experience since you've joined. Yeah, it's changed my life. I can't get enough of it now. I love it. <laughs> so it is rugby leading the way in tackling homophobia. On my journey, I have discovered that despite there still being a cultural stigma surrounding homosexuals in rugby, progress is being made. Gay teams like the Wessex Wyverns and many more are leading the way in promoting the acceptance of gay rugby players and are setting an example to all sports worldwide.